Welcome back. We're going to start the project which involves creating a data visualization app using Streamlit and Plotly Express. First thing we're going to do now is check that we have the proper libraries installed. So if you're using PyCharm like me, you can easily check that. So we already have Streamlit. Let's check if we have Plotly Express. Okay, so we have Plotly. Let's install Plotly Express. So if you're not using PyCharm, you can install Plotly Express with pip install Plotly Express. Let's install the package. You can close all this. We should know when it's done. Let's install, let's import the libraries we need. First, we need Streamlit. Let's import Plotly Express. Let's also import Pandas. For now, this is what we need. If we need more libraries, we can import them. Okay, let's give the Streamlit app a nice title. So we'll use ST title data visualization. Come to the terminal here and run. So you can see we have a nice title. Let's add a sub header, a sidebar rather. So since it's in sidebar, we use a sidebar module and we can say subheader you can save, let's refresh. So we have this sidebar. We want the user to have the ability to upload files in the sidebar. So let me open the sidebar, leave it there. Let's set up file upload. For this, we're going to use, we want the file upload to be in the sidebar. And there's a file uploader function in Streamlit. That's what we're going to use. And the label to be upload your CSV or Excel file. That's what we want. Save this. You should see it. Okay. Now what you see is this is what we want, but it's giving us some hints about the future changes are going to make to the code that they've made. This is what we want. We, want to, we don't want to be seeing this warning because it doesn't apply to us. So let's copy this. And let's configuration. You can just paste this here and we get rid of this one inside. So let's refresh. And there you have it. You have the ability to upload files here. You can either drag and drop or you can select them from the file system. 
now that we have this next thing is we need to figure out how to use the uploaded files so we are not done with this the attributes or the parameters of this function we can also specify the type of files we want and this is going to be a list of the file extensions as strings so we're trying to tell Streamly that only allow these two file extensions a CSV file and an Excel SX which is Excel file format okay that's fine you can refresh of course no changes there to do that, let's give this a parameter name or a variable name rather. Say uploaded file. So we're going to do a simple if statement. So if uploaded file is not none, we can just do print hello it's just a quick test now you see printed hello over there because the file is not known which is great once we have the file we want to be able to read the file into a data frame in this case so for your use case it might be different in this case we want to move that read the file as a data frame do that we're going to use the pandas library but before we go ahead and do that the issue is we don't know for sure if it's good even though we are going to be allowed to use csv and excel files in the upload widget we need to also take care of those two scenarios in terms of converting them to a data frame. To do that, we're going to use the try and accept keywords in Python. So let's just say DF, which stands for data frame, is going to be, we're going to read it in as a CSV if it's a CSV. All we have to do is supply uploaded file so it's going to try that first if it's not a CSV then it's going to go to the accept yeah this is the right way to use your accept you can decide to print the exception or mind you are not going to be using it Now we're going to read the Excel file and we just pass in uploaded file. Let's also print the uploaded file just to see what it is. Okay, let's rerun this. Select the so this is you can see that what it returns is a byte object. So it's a data is a data object which can be read as any format. So this this object holds different formats. So there's a CSV, or it's images. That's really good. Cool. That's really good and really awesome stuff to have so now that we have we've been able to successfully deal with both cases of csv and excel file we want to go ahead and then you know use it so i'm going to try something now it's going to give us an error i'll show you what the error is about so let's say we want to write the data frame right we want the data frame that is uploaded to be shown there now this is going to give give an error and i'll show you the simple fix for it so let's refresh 
Now you see the name df is not defined. You ask yourself why when it is that we do have df defined. But what I want you to realize is this df variable, which is the data frame of the file that was uploaded, is within this if statement scope. So of course, if you minimize that, I mean, in PyCharm or any editor, if you do this, you don't see the df. A workaround for this issue is to make this df, that's the data frame, we make it global. So let's make it global. So that way it's available outside of the scope of this if statement. It's not every time we'll be able to, it's not every time we'll be able to write the data frame to the, to the, to the screen, especially if it's not been uploaded yet. So let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. So upload a file. You can see once we upload a file, we don't have an issue. But we also want to take care of a scenario when the file isn't uploaded yet. So let's refresh this. So once the file isn't uploaded yet, it shows this. So let's use the try and accept again. So it's going to try to write the data frame. But if it's not successful, Let's print the exception, but also let's write something informative to the user. Say, please upload file to the application. Okay, so let's do that. Let's Okay, so when we get first get to the app, that's what we see. It says, please upload file to the application. Because we can come here, upload, and it would do what we expect it to do. One other note of warning here is files uploaded using Streamlit are allowed a maximum size of 200 megabytes. So let's indicate this here, 200 MB max. So anybody, everybody would know. We can move this label to the next line. So we've successfully shown how to upload files in Streamlit. Next, we're going to see how we can use these files in other parts of the app. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.